everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the design and simulation of uh, Yagi Oda antenna using CSD Studio. Yagi antenna is the most commonly used type of antenna for TV reception applications over the last few decades, but nowadays it is going to be used for a lot of applications as a directional antenna. It is the most popular antenna and the main reason behind its popularity is its uh, easier design, manufacturing and installation. Uh, moreover, it provides better performance uh, because it provides high gain and directivity. Uh, the frequency range in which Yagi antenna can operate is uh, around 30 MHz to 3 GHz which uh, belong to VHF and UHF bands. As far as its uh, design elements are concerned, uh, it consists of three elements. Uh, the first element is its dipole or driven element. The second one is its uh, reflector. And the third one is its director. However, director can be uh, installed in larger number as per uh, the application of our uh, required antenna. So before moving toward the design in CST, let's discuss about its design formulas. So before designing Yagi antenna in CST, first of all, uh, we must learn about its formulas that what will be the length of reflector, dipole and director and what will be the spacing between these different elements. So as far as the length of uh, reflector, dipole and director is concerned, uh, the length of reflector must be 0.56 lambda and uh, length of uh, dipole must be equivalent to 0.45 lambda. Similarly, uh, the length of uh, director must be equivalent to 0.55 lambda. So the space between uh, reflector and dipole must be 0.35 lambda and the distance between dipole and director must be equivalent to 0.125 lambda. So uh, before designing uh, Yagi antenna in CST or uh, in hardware form, we must calculate its wavelength as per the required frequency. So for example, if I uh, want to uh, design a Yagi antenna for 900 megahertz application, then I will use simply C is equal to F lambda formula. And then from this formula, I can easily calculate lambda, which will be equivalent to C divided by F. So C is the speed of light and desired frequency is 900 megahertz. So its wavelength as per 900 megahertz it will be equivalent to 333.33 mm. So as we have already discussed about its formulas, so these are the predefined formulas for the design of Yogi antenna. For example, uh, for the length of driven element, uh, its length uh, must be equivalent to 0.45 uh, lambda to 0 0.5 lambda and I have used 0 0.45 lambda and uh, which is equivalent to 166.6 millimeters. Similarly, the length of reflector must be uh, 0.05 lambda to 0.58 lambda and I have used 0.55 lambda and it is equivalent to 183.3 mm. So similarly, these are the different formulas that we have already discussed and you can uh, use these formulas to calculate its values, right? So uh, I have used uh, these values and uh, these variable names in CST and I have already saved these values in my CST design, right? So now we can start uh, uh, the design of Yagi antenna in CST. First of all, go to the modeling and from modeling you have to select circular slender. Uh, just press escape key and uh, for example, I want to start my design from the driven element or dipole. So I will name it as a dipole. Uh, so there is no specific formula for outer radius. It uh, uh, depends that uh, which type of wire uh, you are going to use for uh, manufacturing of Yogi antenna. And you can use uh, the wire with any radius. There is no restriction for the radius. So for example, I uh, put uh, this as a radius is equal to 1 mm and its diameter is 2 mm. You can use any type of value. And uh, for example, if I want to uh, design this uh, dipolar driven element along the origin, so x center and y center will be equivalent to 0. However, uh, along the z axis, I want to define its uh, length. And uh, as I have already 
uh, discussed that uh, the length of the driven element or dipole is represented with LD and it is 166.6 so similarly if I uh, want to uh, design this dipole then its length will be equivalent to LD right and uh, I have already defined LD and which is 166.6 so I will design this uh, by using these variables like right so I would like to design it uh, uh, along the origin so I will simply use uh, positive LD by 2 along the positive Z axis and I will use negative LD by 2 along the Z mean so that I can design it along the origin right so material can be uh, used as a PEC or you can use any type of conducting material as per your required design right so just click on preview and then just click on ok so uh, that is uh, the basic driven elements or dipole of your Jaggi antenna design right so as uh, we have to properly power up this driven element or dipole so I would like to uh, make a cut at the center of this dipole so that I can define the discrete port here to power up an antenna so uh, I will just go to the modeling and I will define a circular slender so that I can uh, subtract or cut that uh, dipole so I can name it as a dipole cut right so its radius will be same and uh, I would like to cut it from the center so that's why x center y center will be equivalent to 0 uh, but what will be the length of that cut so uh, formula for the length of that cut is equivalent to the lambda by 20 so as I know that uh, the value of lambda for 900 megahertz is 333.33 so I will divide that wavelength uh, by 20 and answer will be 16.6 so that's why its length must be 16.6 uh, but I would like to define this length along the origin so half of its length will be along Z min and half of its length will be along Z max so I can just change the material to aluminium or any type of other material that cannot be inserted in that design so after just clicking on ok it will provide me an option and I can select cut away the highlighted shape right so I have just uh, uh, I have just uh, uh, made the space between these two dipoles so that I can power up this design right so our driven element our dipole is ready now we have to uh, define its uh, reflector so I will name it as a reflector outer radius will be same right so as far as uh, uh, its location along the x-axis is concerned you can observe that along the x-axis if I will put uh, x center will be 0 and y center will be 0 then these reflector will be uh, at the exact location where I have defined the dipole so I just want to place uh, the reflector on negative x-axis so that's why I will use simple negative symbol however uh, what will be the distance or space between the dipole and the reflector so I can check it in the list that uh, the space between the dipole and reflector is basically represented with SR the space between the reflector and dipole right so we will use simple SRD and it is 116 right so uh, I have already defined SRD so SRD variable will represent its distance along the x-axis and I just want to design it along the negative x-axis because I will further design directors along the positive x-axis right so as far as is, its length is concerned uh, its length will be uh, represented with LR because uh, LR stands for length of reflector and uh, we have already uh, defined LR right so I will simply uh, put LR by 2 because half of its length will be along negative x-axis and half of its length uh, must be along positive z-axis right so I will use simple PEC material and I will just press on uh, preview so you can check the preview here so I have defined the reflector along 
negative x-axis so now along the positive x-axis we will define its directors right so i will go to again modeling and i will select circular cylinder so it will be our director one right so its radius will be same now along the x axis uh, we have to check the distance between the dipole and the director so the distance between the dipole and director is represented with uh, sdd distance between the dipole and director right you can check here in uh, this table as well and it is 41.6 and it is 41.6 right so its distance along positive x axis will be sorry sdd uh, space between the director and dipole however its length will be represented with the length of director 1 and i would like to define its half length along the positive z axis as well same material will be used right just click on preview and just press ok so this is director 1 similarly you can uh, design the director 2 here and you can name it as a uh, director 2 its outer radius will be same now uh, we have to define its distance very carefully first of all uh, this di this is a, a director 1 is at the distance of sdd right so taking reference of this uh, uh, director 1 we will further add its distance and we know that uh, the space between the directors is represented with uh, space between the directors is represented with st right and it is 66.6 .6. so uh, you have to further add sdd and uh, it will be the exact location of director 2 however its length is represented with the length of director 2 and it will be represented with ld2 right so similarly i will define its half part along the positive z axis same material will be used i will just click on preview and uh, it's okay so now finally we will define uh, the last director and it will be named as director 3 right outer radius will be same now as you know that this was the reference uh, of uh, uh, this director 2 when we have designed this director 2 but now we will take the, uh, the, this reference or you can even take the reference of origin from the origin this director is at the distance of SD, sdd and we will further add sd space between the directors and we will uh, reach to that point now we have further add we have to further add uh, an other distance because now we are going to mm, design another director right so that will be the total distance however its length will be represented be uh, represented by ld3 because it is third director and its uh, length is defined by the variable ld3 right so just click on preview and you can uh, just click on preview so now you can check that the distance between these two directors is less but the distance between this director is little bit large so we can simply verify that uh, uh, what's wrong because now we have used exact same variables in this design so just click on ok and press the distance of director 1 uh, and distance between the director 1 and director 2 so i think in uh, while defining the distance of director 2 we have made little bit mistake because we have to define sdd and then plus sd right so just click on preview and just click on ok so that will be the fine distance because uh, the distance of the first director between the driven element is less and there is a same distance between all the directors that we will add in our design right so now our design is ready uh, we have to just uh, power up this antenna and for that purpose uh, we will define the discrete port uh, here at the uh, center of these two dipoles right 
so simply zoom it in and uh, you can use simple shortcut key to select the center of uh, uh, this uh, uh, dipole one right so you have to just press c and by using this shortcut key you can easily define the center of first part right now rotate and uh, move toward the second part and uh, now you can uh, just press the c and just double click on that part right so you have defined the two points and now you can define discrete port uh, between these two points right uh, so uh, that is the standard impedance so just click on apply and just press ok right so now uh, our yagi oda antenna design is complete and uh, this antenna has uh, as one simple reflector and three directors while this is the main dipole are driven elements nowadays uh, uh, folded dipoles are being used because their performance is better as compared to the simple dipoles right so just simulate and check the results of uh, this yogi antenna so just go to home and uh, you can start simulation so simulations will take some time after uh, successful completion of uh, these simulations we will discuss about its results okay uh, almost simulations have been completed and now uh, we can uh, check the results of this uh, Yagi antenna so first of all uh, let's check the S parameters or S11 of this antenna this antenna is going to operate at 810 megahertz however you can uh, optimize this antenna by shifting this dip uh, uh, to 900 megahertz and you can easily uh, shift this to 900 megahertz just, just by decreasing the size of its dipole are uh, uh, however uh, however uh, because uh, it is going to provide us the results near uh, near uh, minus 25 degrees and it is going to provide us uh, a very wider bandwidth as well right so uh, similarly if i want to check its gain then its gain at 900 However, you can uh, design this Yogi antenna at your home uh, just by using simple wires or any type of material. So, uh, we have designed this Yogi antenna at home. Uh, this is the basically reflector that reflects back, uh, back the waves from the directors, right? And this is the main driven element or dipole. And as I have said, that you can use simple dipole or uh, folded dipoles are being used for uh, uh, designing of uh, Yagi antennas nowadays, right? So here we have used only one director, or you can use more director as well as per the required applications, right? So you have to use a simple insulated material or any type of PVC pipe can be used for. Uh, more directors and you can easily design such type of Yagi antennas uh, at home, right? For your uh, required applications. Uh, so that's all about the design and simulation of Yagi antenna. If you uh, like our video, uh, then please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for our latest videos. Thank you so much.